Hey guys, today I'm going to discuss one of the biggest nerfs in PP history that was announced a few days ago. It is involving the class Death Knight. Right now on live, the class survivability is definitely overtuned, especially against magic. It can survive almost anyone in a 1v1 setting, and during duels, their HP seems to stall at about 30% HP, thanks to the will of the Necropolis. They also survive bursts really well because of Death Strike healing, scaling with damage taken. Currently, that number is 30% of damage taken in the last 5 seconds. So let us go and dig into the patch notes and discuss the changes. First, we have anti magic shell absorption being reduced by 25% in PP combat, as well as the anti magic barrier benefit being halved. If my math ain't wrong, it should be a 36% nerf to anti magic shell absorption, as well as duration going from 7 seconds to 6. I think that magic survival deserved a nerf, but not to anti magic shell. If anything, the PvP talent spell warding should be looked into. It is a random proc and by boosting its absorb by Unholy Bond, as well as Gloom Ward talent, it gives a random absorb shields for about 20% of my max health. In details from random BGs, you can see it is usually the second and the third performer in damage reduced. It is outperforming at the mag shell almost always. Shell is also an ability with more skill expression, since you have to use it, instead of relying on RNG. Oh. Right there. Grip him, grip him. Oh, I have a global. Oh, oh that's awkward. Oh, right. he's dead. Then we go to the second note, which is the will of the necropolis. This nerf is well deserved, since DK is turning mortal the moment they approach 30% HP. Will of the necropolis being a passive 35% damage reduction is massive. But did you know, a lot of DK's immortality uh -huh. comes from a bug. You see, necropolis damage reduction in the common log counts as an absorb, not pure damage reduction like Icebound Fortitude. While it usually wouldn't matter, for a death knight this is a big deal. Since this absorption actually adds to the death strike healing from damage taken in the last 5 seconds. You see I panic bring me from 100% to 73%, making my death strike heal 29k. Okay, you can burst to 75% and I'll try to time it as good as possible. Within 5 seconds, you can panic. Okay, that's alright, that's alright, pretty much. I got a little bit of healing increase to 20, uh, you got me to like 73%, and I got 29k death strike heal. So it was boosted a bit more than the standard 27k. Yeah. Then he brings me from 32% to 7%, which is a time when Necropolis is activated. Okay, are you ready for the burst? Yeah. You can bring me to really? 5%, yeah. Okay. 5 good. I'll just... You can, you, you. Come on. Oh, that one was massive. I got a 36k heal here. Yeah, so it does add. That was the, I, did it, I did it even before the yeah, yeah, the sure. 5%. I mean, I did yeah. like a 7%. Yeah, I get it. But my Death Strike now heals a whole 36k. So Death Strike healing is increased from damage that you never received at all. Only because Necropolis counts as an absorb. That this bug is a thing makes sense, right? Because anti magic Shell, which is an absorb, also adds to Death Strike healing. That absorb damage counts toward damage taken in the last 5 second rule for death strike. It's a reason it is so busted sometimes. Okay, just burst through my shield. I'm gonna use a big heal very soon. No. 50k heal, that's a massive increase. That pretty much shows yeah. that absorbs adds to the massive. Like 63k death strike. It's absorbs yeah. adds to death strike. Is that exactly. intended? Yeah, but that's what makes DK broken right now. Yeah. It kept getting refreshed and absorbed. Yeah, with spell warding. And that leads yeah. to more death strike healing. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, so far the nerfs aren't so bad, but then we come to the last part. Death Strike healing benefit from improved Death Strike is nerfed by 50%, making it go from 60% to 30%, almost a 19% nerf to Death Strike healing overall. But then an extra 50% nerf to Death Strike healing based on damage taken. This makes Death Strike healing, based on the damage, go from 30% to 12.1%. This is a massive 60% nerf to Death Strike, not including the Necropolis bug we talked about earlier, which has boosted Death Strike more than intended the last few weeks. Personally, I will scrap all the healing nerfs to Death Strike and fix the Necropolis bug instead. If something really has to be done, then I would lower the 50% healing reduction to 25% and leave the talent alone. The thing that many people don't realize about Death Knight 
is that they are built around self-sustain. It is the vast majority of their survival kit, if we exclude running like a chicken and spamming chains of ice, which not many melee players want to do. If you play a DK and face a mortal wound or a physical damage dealer team, you will see how impactful the healing reduction is against the death knights. Oh, death knights have no bubble or get our yield free card, which many other classes do. Being so reliant on self healing absorbs is the reason the dampening affects death knights much more than other classes. I'm not sure if these balance changes were targeted around world pp, or random bgs, duels or arena, but I would be very careful with nerfing death strike for arena, especially after dampening changes that is coming this season, making it start at 10%. If you look historically, BFA had death knights in a really bad spot first season because of their weak survival. This made blizzard buff death knights in a tuning pass in 8.1, which left them in a great spot. Deathstrike laser in BFA in 8.3 got nerfed by 50%, and this nerf carried over between expansions in the Shadowlands, which once again made Death Knight survival really bad first season, with it being on the lower end of performance. This Deathstrike nerf was changed to 25% in 9.1, a nerf still active to this day. I fear, looking at historical data, nerfing Deathstrike and making it almost useless will once again make Death Knight perform really bad. I'm just into that. Like bottom bad. And even if not being the worst, they will definitely be forced into a hit and run playstyle. Which doesn't suit the class at all. Anyway, that was just my simple feedback. To recap my suggested changes, anti mag shell should be left alone. And instead, nerf spell warding by 50%. Necropolis nerf is good, but also fix the death strike bug, making it heal more thanks to Necropolis. And then finally, Leave Death Strike alone. If you were to balance it around World PP, then leave the talent alone and maybe nerf the healing base on damage taken by 25% instead of 50%. Dual Summer Panic. I hope you enjoyed the video. Sure. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more. Make sure you're wrong, man. That's so funny, dude. That's I've done the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs>